So these days, I'm sure that there are many people who just want to play some games and take a break from all the commotion going on in our world. In the midst of this COVID-19 outbreak, PC part prices seem to have creeped up. Now despite this, I still managed to put together a great $550 gaming PC that can easily handle 1080p gaming and video editing. This PC is going to be great if you're looking to build a new PC with new parts that can do pretty much anything. This is Sujit Singh from the Hardware Hub and let's get right into it. Now if you're new to the channel and enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button to get more content like this. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the PC itself. For the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 2600 for $120. This is an older CPU, but it still holds up in modern games largely because of the 6 cores and 12 threads that it offers. The lower price point compared to the newer Ryzen 5s makes this a very attractive CPU, especially for mid-range PCs. With this, you can expect to play pretty much any game out there, and you can do CPU intensive tasks like video editing, file compression, or whatever else you can think of. This CPU can also be overclocked like all Ryzen CPUs, and it can hit 4 GHz most of the time which is great because who doesn't like more performance. In the lower $100 price point I think that this is the clear winner and I can confidently recommend it for this PC. Now for the motherboard we need something that's not too expensive but still has all the ports and features that we need like overclocking support. With this in mind I chose the ASRock B450M Pro 4-F for $73. This comes in the micro ATX form factor which is one of the best simply because of the balance it has between features and price. Now this motherboard also comes with 4 RAM slots, 4 SATA 6 gigabit per second ports and 2 M.2 slots. This gives you a lot of room in the future to expand your storage and RAM without much effort which will save you some time and headache later on. It also has a B450 chipset which is going to allow you to do CPU overclocking which is important if you want to max out your CPU's performance. There's not much more to say about this motherboard, it's an all around great value. Now for the RAM for this PC, I decided to go with the G-Skill Aegis 16GB set for $68. Now RAM prices have really gone up recently, but I'm not really surprised because the market for flash memory products has consistently been the most volatile out of all PC products. The reason I chose this RAM kit in particular is that it's a dual channel kit that's clocked at 3000 MHz. Now if you're a new builder, you might not really understand what this means, but basically Ryzen CPUs really benefit from having more bandwidth and higher clock speeds, so going with a kit like this is absolutely worth it. I also want to mention that you're likely going to have to activate the 3000 MHz clock speed manually in the BIOS after you build this PC, so make sure to do that so you get what you paid for. The 16 GB capacity is going to be the perfect amount for gaming and light video editing, so this RAM kit will fit perfectly in this PC and do everything that it needs to do. Now next up for the storage, I decided to go with a 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue for $45. Now this is a basic 7200 RPM hard drive that has 64 megabytes of cache. Now these specs will basically translate into reasonable loading times for all of your OS applications and games and it's going to be decently reliable. Obviously an SSD will be faster and more reliable but the price per gigabyte on those has really gone up recently along with RAM so fitting it in a PC like this has gotten more and more difficult. However for those of you who do have a little bit extra money I will link a couple SSDs down below and they'll be great for storing your OS and applications. Now for those of you who don't get the SSD this hard drive will still function just fine and it will be a great storage solution for this PC at a very low price. Now next we're going to talk about the GPU which happens to be one of the most important parts of a gaming PC because it's going to impact your game performance the most. For this PC I chose the RX 580 from ASRock for $160. This is a modest looking GPU that comes clocked at 1168MHz and it can boost up to 1284MHz. Now this card comes with a pretty decent cooler so the cooler is not going to really limit you when it comes to GPU overclocking and in most cases you're probably just going to be limited by the actual silicon. The 8GB of VRAM on this is more than enough 1080p gaming which is great since that's the target audience for this card. The RX 580 is an older GPU at this point, it was launched a few years ago which is quite a bit of time in the PC world, but even then it's still a great option for 1080p gaming. Now next up we have the case which is the HEC HX210 for $35. This is a pretty cheap case and even though the price is low, it actually looks kind of decent. This case comes with a clear acrylic side panel which gives it a somewhat premium look. Obviously since it's acrylic it will scratch easily but I still appreciate that it's included because it looks better than what most cheap cases come with. The front panel on this features the usual two USB ports, audio jacks, and a power switch. On the inside of this case there's plenty of holes to route your cables and there seems to be a serviceable amount of room behind the motherboard to hide your cables as well so cable management won't be too big of an issue in this case. 
with this case you're getting all the basic features that you need in a decent looking package which is pretty much all you really want at this price point now last but not least for the power supply we have a 500 watt evga unit for 52 dollars this psu is 80 plus bronze rated which is pretty decent and like all EVGA PSUs, it's made with quality components, which is really what you want to look for because a failed PSU can easily kill your other components like your GPU and motherboard, and that would be an expensive problem to fix. The 500 watt load capacity on this leaves some margin in this PC for upgrading to a more power hungry CPU or GPU down the line, which is great to have. EVG is one of my favorite PSU manufacturers, and with this PSU, you're definitely getting a very reliable and durable product. Now after seeing all its parts, you're probably wondering, what kind of performance can I expect out of this? Well, in most modern games, it can play them at 1080p with close to maxed out settings, which is going to give you a very good experience. Now, there will be some games where you have to turn down the settings to hit 60fps, but that's something you can expect with most GPUs and their target resolution. Speaking of resolutions, you can play at 1440p or higher with this GPU if you have the capable equipment, but you will have to turn down the settings a significant amount to make this PC run at a decent frame rate. So this PC is going to be great for those of you who primarily game at 1080p and might doubt dabble in a little bit of 1440p gaming as well. If you have any questions about this PC or PC building in general, please be sure to leave a comment down below or you can send me the question on my Twitter which I have linked in the description as well. I also want to quickly mention that I have links to all the parts I mentioned in the description so check those out if you're interested. But yeah guys that's all for today, if you liked the video please hit the like button, if you didn't like it please dislike the video and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next one.